name is Tori Novak, and I am going to teach you how to make a flower bookmark by Jamsuda Shanta, which was posted by the YouTuber Guide Central English. This model is modular and of average difficulty. It requires the use of the water bomb base. I selected this model because as a lit major and self-published author, I do a lot of reading and frequently am in need of a bookmark. I also enjoy collecting bookmarks and currently have more than 400 bookmarks in my collection. Bookmarks are a great means of self-expression, especially when the bookmark is one you've made yourself. In order to make this bookmark, you will need two sheets of 6 inch by 6 inch origami paper in the color of your choice. You may choose two different colors or two sheets of the same color. These will be used for the petals of your flower. You will need another sheet of origami paper of the same dimensions, preferably in green, to be the leaves which hold your bookmark in place. You may choose to use any kind of paper you like, but I will be demonstrating on traditional origami paper. You will also need a pair of scissors, a ruler, a button, a bottle of glue, and clear tape. We will start with the colored paper for the petals. Using the ruler, Measure the length and the width to 11 centimeters. Make sure you draw your lines all the way across so you know where to cut. Now taking the scissors, we're going to trim off the excess. and do the same with the second sheet of colored paper. If you are using non-traditional origami paper, you may use this step and you will still have the same size squares. Now in order to make the petals, we need to divide these in half, both across the length and the width. And taking the scissors again, we're going to cut it in half and in half again. If you have a paper cutter, it will make your cuts a lot cleaner. If not, scissors with a careful cut will work just as well. And we're going to do the same with our second sheet of paper. So we're going to fold it in half across the length, unfold and fold in half across the width to get as accurate as we can and then we're going to cut across the length and across the width. You now have eight squares of five and a half centimeters by five and a half centimeters. In order to make the petals we will begin with a water bomb base. In order to make a water bomb base, you want to start with your paper with the color side facing up. And then what we will do is valley fold the paper in half horizontally. So we're going to go and take up the bottom, fold it to the top, crease it. You want to make sure that your crease is nice and sharp. Then we're going to open it back up. Then we're going to flip the paper over and we're going to fold across the diagonal. So we're going to start with one diagonal, fold it across, and you'll form a right isosceles triangle. You can see that this length and this length are exactly the same. We're going to unfold it 
and we're going to go across the other diagonal. We're going to fold it up. We're going to crease it nice and sharp and open it back up. And now we have all of the folds that we need in order to make our water bomb base. So what you're going to do is flip it over again and you're going to pinch the midsections of the height where you have your little creases and we're going to press those creases in together and you can see how the form is naturally going into the folds that we've made. So if you've made them nice and sharp, you'll see that it's forming a nice triangle. We're going to press it down, make sure all the creases are nice and tight, and you'll see we've just formed another right isosceles triangle. So now we are going to take the triangle and hold it with its hypotenuse facing upwards. So our open side is facing up. And we're going to grab only the first layer on the right side. There's two layers, you only want the top one. And you're going to fold the corner upward so that the edge lies perpendicular with the hypotenuse and bisects its length. So we're going to fold it upwards. We can see that it's nice. It forms a nice right angle right here. We're going to press that down. Now we're going to do the same on the left side. So we're going to take it, fold it up, and the second side is easier because you can just line it up so it's parallel with the triangle you've already made. And we're going to crease that down, and you've just made a petal. Now we're going to do the same for the remaining seven petals. Now we're going to use the glue to hold the petals down flat. So you're going to open it up a little bit, put a little dab of glue, press your petals down, and hold it until it dries a little bit and then we're going to put glue dots on both of these flaps. We're going to do the same for all eight petals. Now we're going to take two petals and we're going to insert the left point underneath the right flap and press it down and we're going to continue in this manner, putting the left point underneath the right flap. And we're going to go all the way around with our eight petals. And this one, you want to make sure that you weave it in, so your left flap is still going over your right petal. We're going to press them in as close as we can. You're probably going to have a little bit of a hole, depending on how well you cut your paper. You press it down a little bit and try and line these up so you don't see the flaps behind them. There we go. Now we're going to take our button, put a little bit of glue on the button, and we're going to put the button right in the middle of our flower. And now we're going to put this on the side so it can dry. Then we're going to take our green paper, so while that flower is drying, we can begin to make the base. So we're going to take this paper, and again, you're going to need your ruler. And we're going to measure this paper to 12 and a half centimeters by 12 and a half centimeters. So again, we're going to be careful with our 
measurements. See right here is 12 and a half. by 12 and a half. And we're going to go through and again, now we're going to trace along the line so we can measure out our 12 and a half by 12 and a half square. And like we did before, we're going to take the scissors and we're going to trim off the excess. And again, if you're using non-traditional origami paper, you would still measure it to 12 and a half centimeters by 12 and a half centimeters, and it will make the same square. Now we're going to hold the paper with the white side facing upwards, and we're going to begin to fold the paper vertically in half, but we're not going to crease it. So you're gonna line up your corners, and then just put a small pinch on the top of the paper and then we're going to open it back up. Now we're going to take the upper right corner of the triangle and we're going to fold it downward until the leg of our right triangle lines up with the pinch line that we made. So it's in the center and it lies perpendicular with the top of the paper and we're going to crease it. Now we're going to do the same. We're going to take the left corner. We're going to bring it down until it lies, the leg lies parallel with the other leg of the triangle. And we're going to again crease it. And this is going to be the corner where this will hang onto the side of the book. You may also want to take the bottom and valley fold it upwards so it meets the legs of the triangle and crease it. Then you won't have any white showing on your finished bookmark. Now we're going to take the tape. I'm going to cut off a small piece of tape and we're going to tape the legs of the triangle together. You don't want to use glue at this step because if you glue the triangle, you're going to glue your flap shut and then you won't be able to put it on the corner of your book. So you want to make sure that you put down a little bit of tape. And if you want, you can put a little bit of tape underneath here as well. Being careful not to tape your flaps down. And you can tape down the bottom so it won't pop out. Now we're going to take our flower again. We're going to flip it over. Put a little bit of glue on the back. There we go. Be careful because the button may come off if it hasn't dried completely. You can just put it back on. And we're going to put it in the middle of the right isosceles triangle that was formed by the flaps. And again, you want to be careful that you don't glue your flaps down or else you won't be able to put your bookmark in your book. And congratulations, you have successfully made a flower bookmark.